Hey guys and gals, in this tutorial we're going to talk about a Boris and their vector shapes. Now if the audio is a little choppy, you'll have to forgive me. As you can see, my CPU is maxed. I'm still batching coding. Here's my batch list. As you can see, I'm batching coding to 1280 by 720. <clears throat> so it might be a little slower than normal. Because I'm doing a screen capture app and you can see my CPU is maxed. So, let's just bring in a steel frame here. Everybody remembers this old video of mine. I'm going to drag it down to the timeline and put it in my timeline. And now we have this, this picture in our... And we're going to select vector shape. And it'll give us this square, okay? So, go to your controls. Actually, what I want you to do is... Take your vector shape and drag it over to superimpose. And that will throw it over top of your, your picture or movie. Okay, double click it to load it into the viewer. Go to your controls tab and now you'll have all the controls for the Boris vector shape. Okay, we're going to make our shape an oval. Okay, let's go on down. We're going to turn our border on. Now you can see we have a border. Let's change our color to red. Now we have a red border. Let's scroll on down. Let's take our softness up a tad. Border 2, we don't want. Border 3, we don't want. Shape fill, we're going to turn that off. So now we just got this outline. Okay. Now we can take our position. And it'll bring up this little red crosshair. And we can position. I'm going to position it around his head there. Donut boy's head. And then we're going to go on down here to master scale. Let's we'll scale it down a tad. Like that. Okay. Let's use our tumble. And let's tumble it a little bit to make it look like it's a little bit skewed. Let's bring our scale back up a little bit here. Okay. Now, let's, let's see. Let's have it cast a shadow. Like that right there. Or, if you don't like that, you could have it cast like a drop shadow. You can go and adjust the, let's have it cast a shadow. And let's have it real soft. Like so. Now we got a little bitty shadow. So now let's, let's animate this. So as you can see, we have, let's go up here, on back up. Our transformations, position Z, position Y, that's where you position it on your picture. So let's scroll all the way back up to our border, border 1, and there will be a border begin and a border end. And when we scroll this border begin, look what happens. Zoop. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag it all the way to 100%. We're going to set our keyframe. We're going to go forward in the timeline a few frames. And then we're going to take our border begin and slide it all the way back down to zero. Like that right there. Now, what's going to happen is, when we play it, our shape is going to animate on. Like that right there. Now, if it's too fast for you, you can hold the Z key. You can see your little keyframes here. You can hold the Z key and zoom in and click. As you can see, as I click and zoom in, it gets wider and wider. I can grab this little keyframe here and drag it out. And that will make it animate on slower. And play it. Blah, 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 blah. Donut boy. Let's look at his head. Here it comes. Zoop. And there it is. It's a little slow. Let's make it a little faster. And it won't hurt if you're working over here to drag this out like this so you can see what you're doing. Like so. That's probably coming on a little faster now. And there we go. And that's how you make an animated shape using the vector shape from Boris. I was just using this as an example. Uh, as another example, this could be a map. 
and you're wanting to circle a specific location on a map or single out a specific person in a photo. Several, several uses for this. Check it out. Hope you've learned something. We'll see you next time, guys.